Christina Alvino with FindView Marketing, and today I wanted to talk a little bit about why having really good quality photos in your marketing is so important. So images draw attention, trigger emotion, and most importantly, bring your product to life. So what are the photos on your website, on your Google business listing, in any print material, what are they saying about your self-storage facility? All too often, I see pictures online that are taken on a cloudy day or with water in your drive aisles or having trash and leaves sprinkled around in the distance or weeds growing. Um, what are these pictures saying about your property? What do you think brand new pictures taken on a bright sunny day, clean dry drive aisles, no trash, no weeds? If you see those pictures, where would you rather rent? So people shop with their eyes and then read the details. That's a quote from one of my favorite sharks. And it's so true because the old adage is a picture says a thousand words and the pictures that people see online because they're shopping with their eyes first are going to be the first impression of your facility. They're gonna look at your pictures that are this big on your website or looking really bad and make a snap decision about your property and probably go somewhere else before they see what your unit types are or look at your pricing or look at your promotions. So without really good photos, you're likely losing leads, rentals, and revenue. So every time I bring up to somebody, you should have professional photos taken, I get a lot of hemming and hawing because they don't want to spend the money. Well, it's 2020. And how many of you out there have a smartphone? I know I do. And every smartphone camera takes pretty good pictures. So I'm guessing that even if you go outside and take some great pictures with your smartphone, your pictures are gonna look better than what you have online right now. But I also wanna talk numbers and financials and revenue a minute. So to hire a professional photographer to get maybe 15 or 20 really good photos of your property featuring your unit types, your security features, your office, your manager, putting a human touch behind it, it's probably gonna cost you around $300. Oh, that's too much. I don't have that money in my budget. Okay. So did you know that a Google My Business listing with really great photos can generate 45% more driving direction clicks and 35% more website clicks than a Google My Business listing that has really bad photos? So let's put that into some real numbers. Say you get 100 visits a month from your Google My Business listing. I'm gonna use round numbers to make this easy. So you get 100 visits per month from your Google My Business listing. You go out, you hire a photographer, you get some great photos. Your property looks pristine. There are no weeds, it's a bright sunny day. Your property might not look great, but you can make it look great in photos. And that's the first impression. So now you get 35% more visits to your website. So with the 100, um, with the 100 visits, you were maybe getting five leads, let's just say 5%. So you're getting five leads, two to three rentals if you're closing, you know, 50 to 60% of your leads. All right, not bad. Now you're getting 135 visits to your website. So now you're generating seven leads and three or four rentals. So it might only be an additional one rental a month, but what does that look like in revenue? That one rental per month stays, we know, for an average of 10 to 12 months. So we're gonna use 10 months to make this all easy. One additional rental at $100 a month for 10 months is $1,000 of revenue to your bottom line for 
every additional rental you're now generating because you have better pictures online. At the end of a year, that's $12,000 in additional revenue you could be generating to your business by spending two or $300 to have professional photos taken. I'd take that bet day in and day out. Wouldn't you? So if you want some more information about why having really great photos is important and get some best practices and tips, check out our blog. Uh, if you have any other questions, feel free to leave a comment below. We'll be sure to get back to you. Otherwise, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.